In this video, I will show you how to send files from phone to any smart TV. Now, over here, I have a TCL Android TV, but it doesn't matter the type or brand of smart TV you have, whether you have a Samsung TV, LG TV, an Android TV just like this one, or even a Google TV. By the end of this video, you should be able to transfer or send files from your phone to your smart TV. And this will work for video files, music files, PDF files, or any file you want to send to your TV. This will work perfectly well for you. Now, this video is going to be divided into two parts. For the first part, I'm going to be showing you how to do this on your Android and Google TVs. And for the second part, I'm going to be showing you how to do this for other brands of TVs like your Samsung, Hisense, Vida Smart TV, LG TV, or any TV that does not use the Android or Google operating system. Now, for your Android and Google TVs, what you want to do first things first is to make sure that both your phone and your Android or your Google TV is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. And then once that is done, you want to head over to your Android or Google TV go over to the google play store so come over to the app section over here and then navigate to the google play store over here if you're using a google tv you can just head over to the apps tab and on the search icon at the top over here you want to go ahead and search for send files to tv so just go ahead and search for send files to tv and this is actually a popular app you can actually get on your androids and google tvs you can literally see the app over here so you want to select it and then just click on the install button and while it is downloading and installing you want to come over to your phone then head over to the google play store or app store of your phone in my case it is the google play store because this is an android phone if you have an iphone go over to the app store and on the top search bar over here you want to go ahead and search for the send files to tv app as well click on it and then install this app into your phone as well once it is downloaded and installed you can go ahead and set it up on your phone first and then you can just go through the onboarding ui or you can just skip the whole process by just clicking on skip over here click on done give it permission to access files on your phone just give it all of the permission it needs once you're in this page you're good to go now you want to come over to your android or google tv Go ahead and do the same thing you can skip the whole process by just clicking on skip over here click on done and then also give it all of the permission it needs to work on your tv as well scroll down and click on allow now the next thing you want to do is to come over to your phone and on your phone since you're sending from your phone to your tv you basically just want to click on the send button over here now you can browse through all of the folders on your phone and look for the file music or video you want to send to your tv now let's take for instance if i come over to the documents folder over here you can literally see all of the documents on my phone so i can go ahead and select any file take for instance the sam file over here i'll just go ahead and select it and because my phone and my tv are connected to the same wi-fi network you can literally find the name of my smart tv over here now you just want to go ahead and select it and automatically the file from your phone will be sent to your tv so you can go ahead and try sending videos music pictures from your phone and you will definitely receive them on your smart tv i'll just select this one select my tv and you can literally see it has just entered my tv you can go ahead and download any photo gallery file or you can as well just come over to your android or google tv go ahead and open up any file manager app on your tv so if you have like a file manager app you can go ahead and use it to access all of the things you have sent to your tv let's take for instance if i want to open up the image i just sent to my tv i'll come over to images over here and you can literally see the image i just sent to my tv i can go ahead and open it up directly from here and just view it directly from here as well but if you have any other type of smart tv that is not an android or a google tv like your samsung smart tv your lg smart tv or even your hisense vida smart tv roku tv for that you will definitely need a usb drive just like this one over here basically what you just want to do is to go ahead and send the files from your phone to your laptop or any system and then connect your usb drive to that laptop and system System. then you can now send the files from the laptop or system to your usb drive once all of the videos music picture or any other kind of content you want on your tv is sent to the usb drive you can now go ahead and connect the usb drive to any of the usb ports on your tv once your usb drive has been connected to your tv basically what you want to do is to go ahead and look for the media player app on your tv 
every smart tv actually has a media player app or a file manager depending on what it is called on your tv but in most tvs it is actually called media player app or media so you just want to go ahead and look for the media player app in my case you can literally see the media player app over here now once you open the media player app you should be able to find the name of the usb drive that has been connected to your tv i'll just go ahead and try opening up the media player app one more time and you can literally see my usb drive over here once you select it you can literally find all of the videos audios and files that has been sent from my phone to my laptop and then into the usb drive for me to be able to watch or access on my smart tv over here now remember this works for any type of smart tv you have all you just have to do is to make sure you send the videos music picture or any other files from your phone to your laptop and then to your usb drive and you're good to go if you find this video useful please make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to this youtube channel for more interesting tech tips like this one